Number 29, a firefighter who weighs 712 newtons slides down a vertical pole with an acceleration of 3 meters per square second directed downward. What are the magnitude and direction of the vertical force on the firefighter from the pole and the magnitude and direction of the vertical force on the pole from the firefighter? So let us make a, a draw over here, so that's the pole uh, over here, so this is the pole and our firefighter is this red square over here because I don't know how to draw a firefighter so our firefighter is this red square over here so we have two different forces acting on the firefighter we have the force of gravity which I'm going to call it FG the force from gravity and the force from the pole and let's suppose that upwards is positive and downwards is negative so we know from Newton's second law that the sum of the forces is equal to mass times acceleration but in this case we only have one dimension so we can put aside the, the vector so we can rewrite Newton's second law as the sum of the forces equal to mass times acceleration but without the vector okay so we have two different forces we have FP we have FG, the point in opposite direction, so that's why one is positive and the other is negative. This is equal to mass times acceleration. So we know that force of gravity, which is this one, is the weight of the firefighter. We know the acceleration, but we don't know the mass of the firefighter. So we just have to remember that the weight is equal to mass times gravity, the acceleration of gravity. So the mass of the firefighter is equal to the weight over gravity and this is 712 over 9.8 and this gives us roughly 72.7 kilograms. So now we know the mass, we can isolate FP and that's what we want. Okay, so FP is equal to mass times acceleration plus FG. So the mass is equal to 72.7. The gravity is minus 3 because it points downwards and downwards is negative. So this is minus 3. And don't make confusion between the acceleration that the firefighter is going down and the acceleration of gravity. This is not the acceleration of gravity. This is minus 3 and plus 712. And this gives us roughly 494 newtons. So that's the force that the pole, uh, the, the, the pole makes on the firefighter. Okay, so that's the magnitude of the force. So we have to find the direction. So it's pretty clear that since we choose that upwards is positive and the force is positive so it is it points upwards so that's the answer of letter a and b as for letter c and d we can use newton's third law so since the pole makes a force on the firefighter the firefighter makes a force on the pole which has the same magnitude however it points to the opposite direction so the, the force, let's call the force from the firefighter, is equal to minus 494 newtons, and of course, this points downwards. So that's it. That's exercise 29.